Hello Aquarius. This is Inspire 2016 with your weekly tarot reading for the week commencing the 4th of September until the 10th of September 2017. The first card for you is representing. How do you feel about yourself? Your card is. The Ten of Pentacles. You finally reach a point of completion and accomplishment in your journey. This sense of accomplishment is likely to be as a result of an improved career path, more solid financial reserves, a stable home environment and a possible committed and long-term relationship. This is one of those cards that shows that everything will eventually come together in a wonderful way and you will feel highly successful and proud of everything you have achieved. You will also feel compelled to share this success with others to ensure that they are also well cared for. With the focus on the family, you may be more inclined to direct a lot of your energy into ensuring that your family has everything that they need, from finances, to security and a good home life. You want to ensure that your children and family will always have everything they need. This card shows how family, or even extended family, is incredibly important. It represents tradition, being a part of something bigger and realizing that the blood of your ancestors runs through your veins. It signifies that you are part of a long chain of individuals who subsequently creates a family, a tribe and a society. It provides structure where you can sit safely and comfortably, knowing that you are a part of history and heritage. The Ten of Pentacles is also a card of affluence and wealth. You are blessed with material abundance and are now free from any sort of money troubles. You feel financially secure and you are fortunate enough to have luck and success on your side to ensure your financial reserves are high. This card reflects permanence and creating a lasting foundation for future success. It is a card of commitment to a sustainable future, taking into consideration not just the short-term benefits of a particular venture but also the long-term benefits. It is about investing in the long-term and knowing that you need a consistent approach in order to achieve success that will last the test of time. The second card for you is representing, what do you want most right now? Your card is. The Eight of Cups. What do you want most right now is to ask yourself what you can do to bring a deeper satisfaction and joy to your life beyond the obvious pursuit of material satisfaction and or physical enjoyment. You are seeking deeper meaning to life and focusing in on your personal truth. You want to escape from the rat race and pursue deeper, more spiritual goals at this time. You are willing to let go of your material possessions in favor of something more meaningful. Thus, the Eight of Cups is often reflective of the start of a journey of discovery, particularly on a spiritual level. You are disappointed enough to walk away from everything you have built up so far. It could indicate a disappointment in love or dissatisfaction with material success. It could also indicate that you have overextended yourself to the point of emotional exhaustion. Even though you have already come so far, you feel that you can no longer go on and your only choice is to walk away from the situation. You feel disappointed with yourself but you know that this is the right thing to do before you completely burn out. 
you may also be feeling that you are giving too much and not getting nearly enough in exchange. The third card for you is representing, your fears. Your card is, the Queen of Wands. You are afraid of a situation in which someone is behaving in a manipulative, pushy or selfish way. One of you seems to be in a chronically bad mood, and is angry, resentful and jealous. You may find yourself being attacked or bullied, or behaving this way yourself. Perceptions are skewed and information is being twisted into lies. Someone is demanding, controlling, petty and narrow-minded. The Queen of Wands can also indicate that you have recently lost your confidence in yourself and have become a shrinking violet. You shy away from being in the limelight as you worry that others may think you are not the real deal anymore. You may have even had a recent fall from grace and are now slightly embarrassed about your reputation. What you need to do is restore faith and belief in yourself. Draw from that positive energy that usually lies within and know that you can combat anything once you set your mind to it. The fourth card for you is representing, what is going for you. Your card is, the king of wands. There would be a male significant figure in your life, most likely from fire signs, who is goal oriented and full of creativity. He is a natural born leader of all kinds of people and he is very visionary. Once he sets himself a goal, he sticks to it and ensures that he can make it happen with the support of those around him. People naturally gravitate towards this king as they know he will get things done and will do it very well. He is a master, too, at being able to get other people to do his work for him, and keep them on side throughout the process. He looks forward to challenges because he enjoys the natural rush of adrenaline associated with solving a difficult problem and coming to a solution that will benefit not just one person but many people. In the process, he not only rids himself of his own fear but that of others, by reassuring them that they shall all succeed. He is not all talk, either, and when the going gets tough, he is prepared to do the hard yards to see something through to the end. The King of Wands has a deep and innate respect for other people, and his compassion extends far. He knows how to bring out the best in others and to empower them to deliver his visions and goals, which he knows will be of benefit to the greater population. If this King represents yourself, you are someone who is very visionary and goal-oriented. You achieve a lot because you are very clear about your future direction and how you will get there. You do not waste your time on activities or relationships that you believe will lead nowhere. You never just go with the flow, instead you prefer to embark on a strong and direct course of action. The King of Wands reminds you to lead your life with intent, vision and a long-term view. Know that even though you are experiencing challenges now this is just a part of your journey to something much more positive. Eventually, you will see this time as just a little blip on the radar and it will have simply served to make you stronger. Stay focused on your long-term goals. The appearance of the King of Wands also suggests that an opportunity is presenting itself to you, and you now have the power to accept the opportunity and take on the challenge. You are the determining factor in this situation, and circumstances will navigate in the direction you steer them. Indecision or doubt will not be appropriate responses when clarity and confidence are acquired. However, as you progress in this new role, it will begin to feel more comfortable. The fifth card for you is representing, what is going against you? Your card is, the Four of Cups. There is a good possibility that an offer will come your way but you must work hard to go out and get it. It is sitting right under your nose, so make sure you snap it up before you miss out. You may also be too focused on your own issues that you completely miss this opportunity or are unaware that it even exists. 
Keep your eyes and heart open to new possibilities, and release some of the focus on yourself to allow new opportunities to appear. The Four of Cups also reflects a time when you may be reluctant to open your heart to someone or to express your true feelings, instead withdrawing and isolating yourself from the other person. Be mindful of how this may be impacting those who are close to you and be considerate of their needs as well as your own. On a more positive note, if you have been going through a period of stagnation, boredom or apathy, you will begin to feel restless with this state of being, and will want to break free from this rut. Put aside any negative thoughts or sulky behavior. Embrace the opportunities that are already being offered to you. Reconnect with others and let them know how much you appreciate them. The last card for you is representing, the likely outcome that you may have. Your card is, the Six of Cups. You want to return to the happy memories of your past, whether as a child, teenager or adult. Oftentimes, though, these memories are indeed a thing of the past and reflect aspects of your life that have since vanished. You may feel that the only way to connect to this happiness is to escape into the past where you can reflect on your happy and beautiful memories, instead of dealing with current challenges. This is fine if you are simply taking a walk down memory lane but it is important that you live in the present and accept your current circumstances rather than always living in the past. Oftentimes, there is nothing wrong with looking back at the good times for inspiration when things are not going so well. In the midst of change and crisis, the Six of Cups suggests that looking back at what you have endured is a good way to assure yourself that, Whatever trials lay ahead, you will meet them and you will overcome them as you overcame others. You need to take time out to heal, look back on the past and all the good that lies there. During this period of reflection, there is no need to focus on the negative. Instead, bring all of the positive energy from the past into your present and your future. The fallen cups are now full and upright again but with blooming flowers that cannot be spilled or washed away. Now that you have looked back, the way forward will be clear and enlightening. The six of cups can represent a return to a familiar environment or to a childhood place. You may return to your hometown, to your parents house, to your high school or even kindergarten. You could be going to a high school reunion or reconnecting with a childhood acquaintance. A teenage sweetheart or past lover may turn up again. Allow yourself positive, nostalgic memories of childhood, friends and family. If you can, spend time with younger people. The source of your problems may be in past events that are triggered in the present. We are made up of many parts and inside we still have the little child and adolescent we were with all of its experiences and feelings. This can lead to the inner child reacting strongly to certain experiences, situations and feelings in the present, based on experiences of the past. Working with your inner child and getting to know where these feelings come from can change that and enhance your choices in miraculous ways. When we are being playful, spontaneous, creative, intuitive and surrendering to the spiritual self, our genuine authentic self, who we know deep within us, our real self is being welcomed and encouraged to be present. Last but not least, the guidance card for you is the partnership. This card speaks to the influence of other people in your life such as a romantic or marital partner or work associate. Trust the first thought or feeling that you have about the word partnership, as your higher self already knows the truth about these influencing energies. If you feel that certain people are adversely affecting you, this card signals the need to take a relationship inventory, to bring positive energy to the relationships or to decrease your involvement with them. Studies are showing that a person's income is proportionate to that of the people he or she spends time with. If you hang out with those who complain, this will bring you down. 
if you spend time with those who are working to improve their lives and this world, you'll feel inspired. This card also signals a business partnership, and again, trust your first thought or feeling for inner guidance. Many successful businesses are formed from partnerships, so you may be guided to network with others or to join a networking group to meet potential partners. God is guiding you to the right people to support the fruition of your divine life purpose. I hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading just please click subscribe and you will get the instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, YouTube. Thanks.